Okay, I am using this tool, Screencast-O-Matic, to show you how to load the drivers for the RoboPro. Right now, I have the RoboTX controller plugged in to the power and the USB port, but if I were... Well, right now I don't have the software installed, so I need to go install the software. So I'm going to navigate to the InDrive, Trade and Tech folder, Manufacturing Technology, Courses, Sim, and I'm going to open the Software folder and pull this off here and drop it on your desktop. Hopefully you guys will have uh, access to doing this. If not, then I'm going to have to do it on all your computers. So, open this and open this setup file. Yes, I do want it to make changes. Click next. Bring this down here. Yes, I accept. Name, put B. Bush, company, NCC, click Next, Express Components, click All Users on this system, and let it install. It says it was completely installed successfully. So we can close out of that, but you notice that there isn't an icon here for RoboPro as of yet. So we will go programs. Oh, there it is. Drag that off. There's a shortcut. Drag that off to the desktop. And open that software. You can see the software is now open, but if I click this little test, it's going to tell me that it's not connected. Well, I can see that it is connected, but I know that it's just missing a driver. So I need to go point it at the driver folder on the C drive and update the driver. I'll say OK. Minimize this. Now I'm going to go to computer and system properties device manager right here other devices robo tx controller right click say update driver software i'm going to browse to it and i'll tell you right now where it's at click the browse button go find your c disk disk program files Robo Pro Oh program files here Now we're looking for Robo Pro There it is. Now you're looking for USB driver install. Point at that. Say OK. Say Next. Yes, I want it to install this anyway. Give it a minute. Let it install. Okay, it says it's installed. Well, we'll check that out now. Close this. Close this. Close this. Bring back up our RoboPro software. Now when we go to test, here we go. We actually get our interface. And I have a switch hooked to input 1. So when I click this switch, it's a normally open switch. When I click it, you should see a check mark come up. 
in input 1. And we do. So we know that we do have communication going on. So anytime you're looking to see if your controller is communicating with the software, select an input, give it a try. That concludes this lesson. You should be able to now update your drivers and get everything working.